Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we learn about the topic uh, nucleophilic, nucleophilic substitution reaction. Uh, this topic uh, has been derived from the uh, chapter number eight, alkyl halide. Before discussing the nucleophilic substitution reaction, we must know about the basics uh, of the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Uh, what do you know about the nucleophile, electrophile, uh, substrate, uh, leaving group? Uh, so we must know about these terms uh, before uh, going to discuss the nucleophilic substitution reaction. So, nucleo what is a nucleophilic reagent? A nucleophile, a reagent with an electron pair that tends to attack an electron deficient positive center is called nucleophilic reagent or nucleophile. Nucleophile is the nucleus loving. You can also call it a, 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 a nucleus loving and uh, also call it, it is the Lewis bias. And nucleophile is those reagents which can donate electron pair. And nucleophile is electron rich. Uh, electrophile, nucleophile is the, uh, is containing, containing the negative and neutral molecule. They may be negative molecule or they may be the neutral molecule. These are the examples uh, of the nucleophile. Uh, some of them are neutral molecules and some of them are the negative uh, ion. So, and another term is the electrophile. Electrophile is the electron a reagent can accept electron pair and the uh, electrophile also uh, electron deficient and uh, electron loving group and uh, electrophile containing the positive uh, charge or uh, there may be neutral molecule. Uh, these are the examples of the electrophile. Electrophile also act as a Lewis S acid because they are uh, they, they they are electron deficient and can accept electron pair. But nucleophile can donate electron pair and cause they, they are electron rich. Second is terminology is the substrate. Substrate is the compound or substance and which any reagent can attack. And the living group or nucleophage, you can also call it nucleophage. The part of the substrate that depart along with the electron pair. Now, just a nucleophilic substitution reaction is the reaction in which the part of the molecule is substituted by the nucleophile. Simply, nucleophile attack on the substrate and it will form the product in the leaving group. So, for understanding the nucleophilic substitution reaction, now we know about the nucleophile, electrophile, leaving group and substrate. Now simple mechanism involved in this reaction is the attacking of the nucleophile on the substrate from the back side of the molecule and replace the uh, halogen by the nucleophile. So the new covalency molecule uh, will be formed and, uh, and the leaving nucleophile, the leaving group. So such a reaction is called the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now we know about the nucleophile is the electron ratio, electron loving group, we can also call it the Lewis base. So these are the examples of the nucleophile. Here are the number of nucleophile, we can say the hydroxy, the alkoxy, thiol, cyano group, amino group, amine group, and these are the ester molecule also act as a nucleophile. They, these hydroxy molecule can combine with the sodium or uh, another molecule to form the uh, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide molecule in the neutral form. Now these nucleophile attack on the alkyl halide to form the product, different products. So the nucleophilic substitution are two types. Uh, one is the SN2 reaction, 
uh, another is the SN1 reaction. SN2 reaction, it is uh, it is occurs in one step reaction, and SN1 reaction occurs in the two step. First, we will discuss about the SN2 reaction. SN2 reaction is uh, also is also called as by molecular reaction, but it is a one step reaction. In this reaction, the nucleophile attack on the primary alkyl halide from the backside of a molecule and replace the halogen. But in in first due to the this reaction is a single step reaction, so for that the transition step is formed, and the transition step containing the five atoms simultaneously attach with the uh, molecule. Now this step is a very fast reaction and comes directly into the product formation of the product and the leaving group. This reaction is a single step, a single step reaction, but it involves the two molecule within a reaction. So the rate of reaction is directly depend upon the uh, alkyl halide and nucleophile. So that's why it is a bimolecular reaction and it is also called as a SN2 reaction. Due to the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the alkyl halide and a nucleophile. And, and that is the step where the rate can be determined and in the SN2 reaction, the rate determining step is very slow. Uh, SN, in the SN1 reaction, another mechanism which involves the SN1 reaction, SN1 reaction is a two-step reaction. Uh, SN1 reaction is also called as a unimolecular reaction. In SN1 reaction is a two-step reaction, we know that uh, how it will form in the first reaction it, uh, it forms the carbonium ion, a carbocation ion. First reaction, it forms the carbocation by the heterolysis. Heterolysis of the molecule, uh, the alkyl halide, to form the carbocation. These alkyl halide must involve the uh, tertiary alkyl halide. The tertiary alkyl halide, uh, processed by the heterolysis to form the carbocation and after the formation of the carbocation the nucleophile attack on the carbocation to form the uh, new product so this step is uh, as uh, this sn1 reaction is a two step reaction but is a unimolecular reaction because the rate of reaction is depend upon only the substrate molecule. So uh, that's why it is called a unimolecular reaction. And uh, we can say that uh, the tertiary alkaline is more stable than the secondary the alkyl halide, carbocation, then primary carbocation, then methyl radical uh, cation. So the stability decre uh, decreases from the tertiary to the methyl radical. The tertiary alkyl carbocation is more stable as compared to the methyl radical cation. SN1 reaction and SN2 reaction. As been in the SN1 reaction, the substrate must be a tertiary alkyl halide, and in the SN2 reaction, the substrate must be a primary alkyl halide. So and another point is uh, the difference between the SN2 and SN1 that the SN2 involves the non-polar solvent while uh, SN1 involves the polar solvent for the ionization of the molecule. 